What? I want for you to put your phone down. You want to what? I was busy listening to someone more important than you. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're going to be going through some more stuff that we've picked up in the last couple of weeks. Um, a lot of it's from the church sale that I've already showed you guys some of the stuff, but I got my the vintage Fisher Price stuff from there that um, that's eventually going to be on my wall. But <laughs> I'm not saying it. Daniel might move out in a couple months, so we're waiting to see right. if he moves out. And if he moves out, then I'm going to have to build other stuff upstairs. So we don't want to build in his room because he'll be gone and we'll use his room for and doing all the recordings. And we'll try to build something nice up there. So I can display all my stuff and it won't be so packed on there. Packed, or I could so. just super glue them to the shelves. Stick no. it there. Like with the, it looks no. like they're stuck there. Somebody asked me, you know, do I ever sell stuff? I've sold a few things, but I'm just not really ready to, you know, if if you're new to my channel, it's been about two and a half years since we started. I had one thing on the wall when we started this channel. Just one thing. What was and it? I think it was, I, I don't even think it's here anymore. It was a, it was an, a newer version of this. And then when I found this, I got rid of that. Because I'm trying to not duplicate too many things. So. The point she's getting at is that she will get rid of some of that stuff. But most of that, she would get rid of me before she got rid of it. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. Some days, probably. <laughs> All right. So let me show you some of the plush that I picked up. And then some of the other goodies from the church cell. Love this. It is Planet Animals. His name is Fridget, and he's from Mighty Star. In my research, I actually I've had something similar to this from Planet Animals. It was this brown-looking one that almost looked like a Bigfoot. Um, I think comps are showing. This is probably forty, maybe fifty dollars for him. I don't think he's been uh, dried. And that's matted. I think it's just dirty. So I'm going to throw it in the wash and see what happens to the fur. All right. Grabbed this. It is Care Bears 2016. Those characters from Cleveland. More contemporary. He's probably still going to be worth, I don't know, $10 to $15, I'm thinking. Maybe a little more. The, the Care Bear cousins sometimes tend to be a little bit better than the regular Care Bears. I grabbed these. They're just like little quilted, what are they called? Placemats. There's five of them. They've got this on one side, this on the other. Very, very 70s, I think. I'm hoping maybe about 20 for it. I was going to say pot holders to see if you caught on, but... And you would lead me down that, but see, this is why... Probably. Probably. All right. This is Care Bears 19... See? This is Cabbage Patch Kids 1983. It is a diaper bag. It does have some condition issues. It's going to get a bath and probably going to list it like 8 to $10. But this is all... When we were at this church sale, we ended up making a huge pile, and she charged us $35 for everything. And that also included my four vintage Fisher Price. So it was a really, really good deal. And they had them listed for $20. Yeah, they had them in a bag saying $20, but the lady, when we just got up there, she went through everything and said, how about $35? Look at this. This is absolutely adorable. I've never had it before. It is a music box. Glow worm. Look at him. That's one of the other, like the glow bug. I've had him a couple of times as a plush. I actually have one of these over there. I cannot get him clean enough. Not clean enough yet. He's got stains, but I'm, I'm still working on him. But I think you pull on this, but I don't want to pull too hard. Um... It's probably still only going to be worth like 15 to $20, I would think. But it does have some fading, so it might be less. All right. 
Look at this. He's got a wobbly head a little bit, but this is Commonwealth and this is super old. Look at this tag. I have never seen this tag before. Kind of has Benji type. It just kind of seems like Benji, but I know he's not. But I'm hoping, I don't know, 15 to $20 for him. I grabbed this. It's going to need a bath. I will probably, um, I'm going to wash it. You know, be careful with stuff like this. It's probably never been washed and it will probably bleed into your clothes if you don't use a color block sheet. Is that what it's called? Yeah, color block. Color catcher. Color catcher. That's it. Um, I put them in every single load of toys that I do. Sometimes they come out just a little bit dingy. Other times they come out like maroon colored, probably from stuff like this. But I've never, I've stopped ruining clothes. Clothes. I've stopped ruining plush when I just watch, wash a big batch of them mm -hmm. and something tends to fade off onto the others. Now we have links for the color catchers down in the video description. We got links for most all the stuff we use mm -hmm. and some of them will take you to Amazon and some take you to eBay and other places. Um, but one way to support our channel, if you're going to buy something on eBay or Walmart or Best, Best Buy, Buy, go through one of our links to those places and it will take you to their site. You can buy your thing and whatever you buy for the next 24 hours, we will get a small, small commission, commission off of it. It won't cost you any extra the Ebays or say eBay, the Walmart and Best Buy go through a site called Mavely, but they will redirect you to the Best that Buy and Walmart. Walmart. So Christmas shopping, we'll get a little kickback on that if you want to help us out. Shopping Grocery Walmart. shopping, that you know that all adds up a little bit. We got links to List Perfectly, Worth Point, um, American Bubble Boy. We got some coupon codes that get you five percent off their tape. Great bubble wrap, great tape. Yep. Um, Worth Point, you need to think about. We've sold like two items this year that we were able to find the proper price on Worth Point that paid for the entire year subscription. But if you don't sell lots of things or you don't sell things that tend to go for a higher price, then you could probably just get by with Terra Peak. So you, you really got to consider whether that's worth the investment for you or not. Yep. All right. Robert did my commercial. All right. This, this wasn't from the church. It just ended up in this section. It is Philman and Hart Laboratories, 1980. When I initially saw this, doesn't it have Lisa Frank vibes? Just got her bright, bright, bright colors. But it's not. It's probably only, you know, bread and butter, 8 to $12. But it was very cute. Philman and Hart reminds me of Phil Hartman. I know. He was, was he on Saturday Night Live, wasn't he? And then he did a TV show. I think so. Like a news radio with... Um, was it David Spade or who was, I can't remember who was on. No, Joe Rogan was on there. Look at her. She, intri I picked her up, I put her down. I picked her up, I put her down. And then I decided to go ahead and get her. Only because she's in relatively good condition. Usually a lot of times the yarn hair is all messed up. She is TCFC, those characters from Cleveland. I don't know if it had a date. I think it had a date. Uh, nope. If it does, it's in teeny tiny writing. Maybe 86. I think she's supposed to have an outfit on. Um, probably going to be 15 to $20 for her. Well, her name. Tugabos? Something Tugabos. like that. When I looked it up, I did TCFC yarn hair and it pulled up Tugabos for me. So... Just intriguing. I like buying different stuff that I've not had before. All right. Not one of my shining moments. You know, the, the whole do as I say, not as I do. I picked it up, but it really is going to need a little bit of work. It just kind of seems dingy. It's, of course, Christmas. Obviously, I think the nose is going to glow if it works. The legs. But it is... Man, M-A-N-N, 1986. So I'm hoping, it's probably still only going to be bread and butter. Sometimes I wonder why I pick this stuff up, especially when it needs work. And batteries. And bat, well, yeah. Look, guess who she is? 
Hint, hint, she has a hood. This is Bialowski Treasury Storybook Bears. Very cute. Oh, you know, a lot of times, for me, you can tell a toy is quality from their tag. And when they have tags like these, to me, it just is quality. Very cute, very clean. I still think it's only going to be probably maybe $10 to $15 but I love finding stuff like this. This must have fallen out of this, just from the tag. This came from the yard sale that we went to where we bought all the plush that I put up on whatnot. She, it, I, there were two of these. There was a larger one and then this one. They're called Barbie bedtime dolls because they're cloth. You know, this is all cloth. Probably only worth probably eight, eight to $12, my, my bread and butter. Just interesting. All right. Oh, let me show you this. Right after we, right before we bought this, I had just sold one of these. Crazy, crazy. Her name is Susie something. I want to say, I don't know the brand. I need to cut up, cover up her jacket. But look, she's very large. She has these right here areas for a child to like push their feet in and then they can pretend they're dancing with them but here's she is and then look if you flip her around and there she is as a sleeping sleeping companion very big i just sold mine for i want to say like 30 32 dollars or something like that and i found another one probably within a week so if you put her legs in your legs in her kind of reminds me of that Benny Hill riding that little old lady costume he used to. Oh, yeah. I, that, I never liked that show. Never liked that show. Of course you did. <laughs> Y'all, treasure. Right here, treasure. I don't even, I don't even know if there's a brand on this. But I've got a brown one listed right now. These, if it works, it's some kind of sensor in it and it whistles at you so this one is white the other one is brown i've sold this one before i'm almost positive it was for over a hundred dollars maybe on etsy um hopefully this one works pro again i'll probably list it somewhere like 100 to 125 dollars and then you know of course i always do best offers this is still all from that church all right barbie cassette player i want to say it's from the 90s it probably should have had a, you know, ear headset for it. Hopefully it works. You know, with the Barbie craze right now, I'm probably going to be maybe $15 to $20 for it. Maybe it's Bluetooth. No, not from the 90s. And then I grabbed this also from there. It is called Girl Talk Dateline. I've seen it mentioned in other shows probably bolo buddies um it's see you know it's got the cassette it's got this whatever it is i'm hoping it's complete it's probably 20 to 25 dollars if it's complete and, and in good condition the problem with it is the box isn't vibrant it's been faded so i'm hoping still like 20 bucks for it and then, still the same church cell, there was a room that was full of clothes, but they were piled on tables this high, way taller than me, and I just didn't want to bother. But I went in to look at the purses and the backpacks, and I found these two. I don't know if I would have normally picked this up, but I did open it, and it, it is Hello Kitty by Sanrio, dated 2010. It needs cleaned i'm not sure if that will just clean off normally um but then this quilted stuff up here does have wear also i couldn't find anything similar on ebay so i'm still hoping i don't know maybe 20 or so dollars for it it's very neat looking and then this and y'all i have tried several times on everywhere to find this Look, look, Choco Cat, 
I did double check to make sure that it actually was Sanrio. It is Sanrio dated 2007. It's in good condition. I think there's no real tears. It is not high quality. There, there are, there are some high dollar purses with the Choco Cat, but this isn't one of them. This kind of feels like just vinyl. But, you know, it's not dirty. I didn't see any stains, but I have no clue. Absolutely no clue what I'm going to list this at. I'm going to, right now, tentatively guess, I don't know, $40 or $50. We'll see, though. If anybody has, you know, found that and seen or figured it out, please let me know. All right. Let's see. Here's a few other things from yard sales. Robert grabbed these. This is Bubba. We paid a dollar each. I think we're going to keep this one though because this part right here fits in our cup holder and right now Robert's using like one of those metal thermoses and they don't fit. So it ends up getting laid on its side, rolling around, um, and I just think this would be a better choice for him. I, I think they're only worth like five to ten dollars. This must be a Robert find. I don't remember it, but it's actually the North North Face Company Base Camp. A dollar, probably eight to ten dollars for it. Love finding these, y'all. I love vintage Christmas. Probably that's like vintage plush, vintage Christmas. Um, this is Noma Angel Tree Top. Look at that face. Hopefully it works. I'm hoping maybe $10 to $15 for it. More coffee cups. This is U.S. Nitrogen. I like to pick up the advertising ones. Somebody might be looking for it. Um, I think we have one of these plants in our area. Most of these I list for like $9.95 best offer. This was from that church. This is House of Lloyd. I've had... Oops! See, I'm going to have to contemplate this. Was this glued and it's just come unglued or does it need to stay loose? Don't know. But if you wind it up, I think I need to glue it. Somebody's going to break it or I am before we even get it. This is Christmas Around the World. It is that bisque porcelain. But when you play the music box on here, this little sled just goes up and down, up and down. I want to say I've sold it for like 20 bucks at some point. Um, and then I have found it again where it didn't work. But this one does work. I did test it. Um, so I'm hoping 15 to $20 for it. I don't have the box. So it's like Sisyphus. It never makes it to the top. Well, no. <laughs> well, look at my hair. I got weird. Y'all, let me ask. I'm just going to ask. I started a new shampoo. It's one of those shampoo bars that's supposed to be all natural. I bought the one for gray hair. So it's purple shampoo stuff bar. But look, it's turning my hair almost tan. Why is it doing that? Anybody who uses those bars, do I need to not use the purple? But I have naturally gray hair. But doesn't it look yellowish tan to you? It's starting to bother me. I've only used it two times and I'm not liking the results. I'm just not. All right, back to this program. <laughs> but when you're staring at a computer and you just keep thinking, your hair looks yellow, your hair looks yellow, but all right, this is from our little favorite estate sale company we like to go to. This is a Robert find. So we paid $3 and $2 for ashtrays. Y'all, there's still a lot of people out there who buy ashtrays. This one's funny because it's glass, but it's inside of like a, a cardboard looking thing. We all survived the 70s, so... I don't know. What did you find on these? Some like that were $30 or so. 
So that's good. That's good. All right. Oh, and this is from the church. I Google lensed it. Well, actually, Robert Google lensed it. It says it's Wheaton. What was it? Wheaton? Custard jar. Custard jar something or something like, like that. that. I saw other things listed like this um, for not a whole lot of money, but I did not see the this particular jar. I'm going to hope for bread and butter for it. Very unique, though. Just the coloring and the just the, the way, the texture, I guess, of this porcelain. Just very interesting. This one says, saying, Northern Pacific Railroad, when I look it up. Yeah, but Google there's is. no, there's nothing on there. They could have made one just specifically for that company. But that one's not saying anything on it. I don't know. I don't see any writing anywhere. No, these have a little sticker on them, but they're, they're the same everything shape. yeah everything oh so else the looks, sticker's gone i think the sticker might just be gone well that'll be good to help me with at least keywords but since i don't have the sticker i won't use those words and then this is something robert picked up it's four little rice bowls the bottom says royal soul as in seoul korea i think when i did comps or yeah it it wasn't a whole lot, like $10 for these, but I think we paid probably a dollar. I may go a little bit higher. I don't think the other one had four of them. So probably still just 10 to 12 bucks. Here's one of my treasures, y'all. Treasures. Treasures. All right, guess how much I paid? One dollar. One dollar, y'all. This is Empire. 1970 well it isn't we obviously know these are supposed to be in the front but right now i'm all trapped in the, the cord and i'm not going to pull on it um i saw comps eight eighty to a hundred dollars sold so perfect time for me to get these listed mine does have a little bit of paint issue we'll definitely be looking for these table top size low molds it'll be a whole lot easier to ship this one then the full size ones like a smaller version of what Clark Griswold got mad and started going around in Christmas vacation, vacation yep. all right and then here, I'm gonna show you guys another treasure I don't know. I, I've got this ten dollar price tag on there but I don't remember where I bought this and I don't think I paid ten dollars but I no. might have it was only a few dollars for that. That's what I think. I think it was at a yard sale. They paid $10 for it. And then I got it for a couple of bucks. But this is Inesco. Definitely, uh, when it comes to like these Christmassy ornaments and figures and stuff, check your comps. If this works, probably, what did I say? $100? I think about a hundred dollars for this. Fingers crossed. I haven't checked it yet, but more than likely, I could probably still sell it for half that if it's not working. And then maybe somebody else could work on it to get it working. But I'm hoping that it works. So that's two one hundred dollar listings that I'm going to be getting put up here very quickly, y'all. Robert's daring me. Daring. Black double dog dare you to list this on eBay. Will I get a will I get a Vero if I list this? <laughs> I don't think I showed this in my whatnot show the other day. I don't think I'm gonna list it. I'm actually think I'm on it's going on my wall. I, I think, you know, just as a reminder. It's of, the classic Vero yes, word. Definitely. And it's it's probably worth eight or ten bucks, and that is not worth the hassle that we might go through. Yeah. To get a Vero removed for Velcro that really is Velcro. But it's funny. I, it's going to, you know, my wall's just not Fisher Price. You know, I've got my military goat up there. Just to remind me of my Navy service. I you saw know, that at Jeff and Nelly's sale and I was like, I have to buy it. So it's just, it's going to be added to, to my piles back here. I don't know where yet. I don't know where yet. All right, y'all. I got lots to list and we still got lots of videos to make. 
I've got lots to edit because you run your mouth for too long. I know. So do you. You did the commercial. The commercial, y'all. Didn't it make the video much longer? All right. Let's get to work. Bye.